so uh, friends so today we will talk about the total potential energy equation okay so this will be one of the important topic in the fm so here generally there will be an element okay so it may be one de bar element or spring element so if you take the spring element here it may be a number of shifts the springs <coughs> which may be arranged okay so like this <coughs> the springs are been arranged okay one more spring <coughs> so here uh, these springs it will have their stiffness property like it will be k1 k2 k3 like that there may be different stiffness and here another k4 right so all their stiffness properties i the forces may be applied somewhere here some forces like p1 and some one more forces like p2 maybe forces are applying in their uh, node at a different nodes okay so in this case how we can apply the total potential energy equation okay so whatever may be the quotient and their values okay irrespective of their values and the system of springs but the concept which i am going to explain here so here if you think the total potential energy as pi is equal to it is 1 by 2 as k1 delta 1 okay so this is for the the element 1 it means for the stiffness 1 and similarly we have 2 3 4 okay there are there are four stiffness so similarly you have to write for all the force so again 1 by 2 k2 delta 2 so 1 by 2 k3 delta 3 plus 1 by 2 k4 delta 4 like this so it may be three stiffness it may be four five anything okay you have to maintain this equation later where the forces are applying okay so again plus in the equation where the force are applied actually okay so here you should know the force applied at here it means at which node okay we have not mentioned any nodes here so if you started mentioning the nodes so here it will be 1 here it will be 2 and here it will be 3 okay and here it will be 4 and again it will be 3 this same row okay so uh, in the same column it will be having same line so same it will start from 3 to again it end with 5 so there are five nodes right so like that we have to represent the nodes it can be anything again the node can be placed anywhere the numbering can be anywhere it can be placed so here uh, as i am saying that the load is applied at node 3 okay so p2 is applied at node 3 so it will be minus p2 okay so minus p2 and what will be the displacement here it will be q3 the displacement will say q3 again i will say what is delta and what is uh, q okay the difference next again for another force the force is applied at here also at node 4 so the load we have mentioned as p1 so minus again minus p1 and displacement will be q4 right like that so this becomes an standard format of the total potential energy equation <clears throat> so here what is q1 what is q1 sorry what is delta uh, q1 q1 is what it is the displacement at node 1 okay and similarly q2 q3 q4 okay so these are the displacement at each node but here for the from the diagram we can say that here no one i node phi r what node 1 node phi r fixed it means the displacement it will be here zero so q1 and q5 q1 and q5 it should be zero because it is an fixed end again so remaining are uh, q2 to q4 okay 
so q2 q3 q4 are the remainings okay so these are the unknown displacement that you have to calculate so now i will explain what is delta 1 so delta 1 is also displacement that is the difference of node vote 2 to node 1 so if you see the figure from the so here for this uh, stiffness matrix for element 1 so the element 1 right so delta 1 it will be q2 minus q1 okay 2 minus 1 that is the delta so delta you can write now it will be uh, q2 minus q1 so similarly you have to write for all now what is delta 2 delta 2 it will be from 3 to 2 now what is the delta 3 where is the k3 you have to see because the numbering can be anywhere k3 k3 is here okay so uh, delta 3 is here it means it is a displacement on 4 to minus 3 right where is 3 yeah 1 2 3 so this one is the 3 for 3 it is 3 minus 5 for k3 so delta 3 is equal to what delta 3 is equal to q3 minus q5 because it is here k3 now for k4 it is 4 minus 3 for delta 4 it is q4 minus q3 like that you have to write down the deltas okay hope this understand next uh, you have to re, uh, make the global finite element equation that is where that is where where k u is equal to f this is a finite element equation so k is nothing but it is a global stiffness matrix so you know the what is k1 k2 k3 value okay and that you have to make assembling of all the stiffness matrix it's a global stiffness matrix and displacement q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 and forces so force are applied at node 3 and node 5 only right in the figure you can see the force are applied at 3 and 4 okay so you have to do this one now the uh, five displacement right there are five displacement with there will be uh, how much are there The displacement you have, right again forces are so this is the general method again here there will be and global stiffness matrix so you have to apply the boundary condition what will be the body zero you find row and sorry their first row and their first column it will get cancelled first row and uh, u5 uh, first row and first column finally the last row and last column okay so here you will get the remaining it means again 3 into 3 matrix you will get right so after that you will get the number of equations three equations so you have to find u2 you have to find u3 you have to find u4 unknown by using the equations so that you can do by using the direct cap okay so this is the method uh, to apply the total potential energy equations right thank you